I'm scared to make money because the fear of success. Your fear of success is more than your fear of getting kicked out because you can't pay rent. What success I think lands like in my body, it's magnetism. And every f time I'm magnetic, I get violated. Okay. And this is where I might get Delulu. Huh? Delulu? <laughs> Delusional? Okay. Will you hold my hand for a second? I need connection. Uh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um. I get delusional, you could say, when I don't participate in reality because I have this knowledge of my calling by me giving all these stories about my healing journey and just trying to inspire other people to go on their own healing journey so they can be their most authentic self. But it's not as lucrative. As you were saying, you had to yes. stack up before you really focused on this beautiful show that served many people so i have the same goal i want to help as many people as possible like you're doing i am so supportive of it so supportive of the desire everything like that just bring my devil's advocate and just more like the world just screaming at me yeah yes yeah i so, live in too much light <laughs> Not too much. well i started the show as this is the honest issue is that people in general but i think it affects mostly women to be fine with allowing women to live in their own little bubble, their own delusion, right? Because again, in general, women's, their life is much easier than men, okay? Much easier. They don't have to suffer the consequences. Because look at this, right? If a man doesn't worry about his, his bills, um, his having a roof over his head, paying rent, he'll be homeless. There will be no programs. You won't be able to get any money. You won't. You will suffer right away. Women, there's ways out, right? Women have the sympathy card. Women can get money from men. There's programs. There's always things to bail out and help women. For men, there isn't. And also, we have internet, right? And I think that's a dangerous thing, especially for women, because you get so much validation. You get so much supposed support. And then it it affects you mentally. I, I think it's a, a dangerous affection. A d dangerous, dangerous affection. And this is the thing, right? I think a lot of um, ideas with women are dangerous or makes them delusional, like astrology, uh, the crystals, the all these the spiritual, being spiritual, all these things that women do, and then they get support from it online. It's just, I think it's just, it, it continues or pushes like the de deterioration of mental health, right? It just makes you more delusional and that's not a good thing. And this is a sad, sad thing. Also there, for women's natural desire or I don't know in a, or just natural feelings to be victims is part of the problem right they're, they're so used to or they know that they are victims it, it just it just builds a, a terrible mentality I want a guy to meet your standards what are your standards he needs to be tall I'm 5'6 so 5'10 minimum um, he needs to be earning. Do you know what? I'm not specific about numbers because I actually don't like. I'm not on a salary. Like I work for myself, so do you know what I, mean? I don't get salary. So I don't really know how people maneuver. But um, he needs to be able to look after me, pay the bills, pay everything, and then also give me money on top. Not that I won't do the same thing. Wait, so but I'm you, just want, saying wait, you want him to pay 100 percent of the bill <laughs> and give you? How much money does he have to give you on top? He needs to pay 100 percent of the bills. He just needs to give me money. Let me say, yeah, she's beautiful, right? She's a beautiful woman. So, no surprise. The issue is that it's delusional, right? You say that you work. You say you make your own money. and then But you need a man to pay 100% everything and then give you money on top. Then why even work? It's like, sometimes I can never understand that's about women, right? Oh, I work. I make my own money. I'm strong and independent. But I need a man to pay 100% my bills and then give me an allowance. 
And then she has the gall to say, I would do the same to him. How are you going to do the same to him? He's already paying 100% of the bills. He's already giving you allowance. So you're going to give him his money back? What, what does that mean? This is the thing with women. Like, you're so selfish. And what does he get? Okay, he get arm candy. That shit is like... And he gets arm candy. And then you wonder why he has the inclination to cheat or go with other women that are arm candy as well. When your value is only your beauty, well, there are millions of other women that has the same amount or even better value of beauty, right? Because that's all you have. That's all you're giving him. It's like, this, 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 because these type of women have only beauty to offer. You really don't have anything else. There's no sub, sub, there's no substance, right? Because a, a woman with substance wouldn't have this state of mind. It wouldn't. So this is this is the the craziness that you know that's in the dating market right now. Now I'm not saying that you know with, with her level of beauty, I'm not surprised that maybe this is her lifestyle. But again, this is the hypocrisy and delusion men talk about. One thing I hate about myself is that I will get obsessed with a guy who does not like me. And this guy does not like me. And realistically, like, if I'm being honest with myself, I don't like him that much. Like, he hardly gives me conversation. And when we talk, it's really so surface level. But now he's all I think about. And it's really fucking annoying because I could never see us together. That would just never work. So... I just, I hate it here. I think it's funny. Only women can say that they don't like someone and yet can say that they're obsessed with that person and can't stop thinking about them. That's why they're delusional. And I, you can't change my mind by when I say that women are the ones who choose the terrible men, choose the men that they don't want. I mean, choose the men that don't want them choose the bad situations that they're in women are the ones who create those problems right create the problems of being with terrible men uh giving kids terrible men uh having men terrible men to complain about creating all these situations these problems okay ignoring red flags uh dating men on fake potential dating men that you want to change all this other crap okay and then things fail and you wonder why and you blame the men no you you chose these terrible men you chose them okay so i don't blame men because of that because you allow these type of men into your life you allow these type of men to have your body you allow these type of men to be fathers of your children and then you wonder why this, this, this is the, the craziness of women. You choose these terrible men into your life. Okay? So there's no one to blame but yourself. I can cook for you. I'm already motherly. Since you can do all that, why are your baby fatherly? You know, I've been watching a lot of like the Kendra G show where women pretty much talk about themselves. Where, what's so special? Why would you want to be with them? Right? A lot of them say that they, they can cook and clean all this all these things right but you gotta wonder dating for women is easy it's on easy mode you can easily get a man problem is you can't keep one so you gotta think why why are they not keeping men what are they not saying and i believe personally most times women are not saying the attitude that they have right the personality how short tempered they are how difficult they are to be with at least long term a lot of women are not saying that they're not saying that they have bad attitude it's their way of the highway um they won't deal with your whatever deal with anything you <clears throat> whatever you know just deal with you so like i said i think that's the thing <laughs> that they, they they will say that the usual things right but they won't tell you the difficulties like you know they're hard to deal with they're aggressive right they're combative that's the thing i think most women are leaving out on their um you know 
dating resume. But this is just something that's been weighing on my, my heart and my mind for a couple weeks. A couple weeks ago, something happened to me within a relationship, and it really just opened my eyes as to like how hurtful men are. I've known that for quite some time, but it's like men are so hurtful with no remorse. No care in the world. Like they just they don't they don't give a fuck. And that's just This is gonna be kind of a long video. One thing I wanna say is just dissect this young lady. One thing is the problem that they don't see is the accountability. I'm gonna show you within this video that this woman, it's her personality. That's that is the problem. It's who she is. That is the problem. I've said it before. Women are the ones who create their own problem. One, the men that she choose, right? The men that she's attracted to. It's not men. It's the man, right? The man that you are attracted to, right? The few, the handful of men that you're attracted to that breaks your heart. And now you kind of sprinkle it all that hate on all men. Okay, that's the delusion. Women don't deal with a lot of men. They don't, really. They, they, they don't personally deal with a lot of men. They may, you know, reject a lot, but they don't really deal with a lot of men. So really, no, you don't know what you're start talking about. But it's still the person that you choose that, to deal with. The person that you choose to enter a relationship with. It's not men, no. And I wanted to say that it's also the personality that you portray, you call men hateful, you know, or hurtful. And yet you can't see that the toxicity in yourself. Wait a minute. Every time a man talks, especially to me, I just want to grab a toolbox and just fuck that bitch across their fucking face. Bitch, shut up and get to work. You doing all this mumbling and cackling. Ho get, get to work. Go to war. Build something. Pump some gas. Take out some trash. Anything but talk. So please tell me. Just that video, right? The toxicity in that. Do you believe that woman actually attracts good men? I, I'll, I'm, I'll be really surprised that after seeing that video, you believe that this is a type of woman that attracts good, decent men. You kind of... It's the energy you put is what the energy you receive. Isn't that one of the things that women always say, right? She's hella toxic. Okay? She's pretty. But I think because of her conceitedness, her narcissism, her delusion, well, it pretty much brings out the toxicity in her. So can you be surprised that she dates toxic or terrible men? Can you? Because I'm not. I'm definitely not. So at the end of the day, it's honestly, it's your channel. It's, it is your fault. You are the root of your problems. Okay? Because you chose this. These, You attract these men. And you chose to be with these men that you attract. And, and, and then you show the delusion of it. Like, you show the instability of your brain. Because watch this. I have a theory. I feel like I be getting played because... I'm, I'm like cool, like I'm peaceful. So they feel like I'm not even gonna do nothing about it. So it's like, I gotta start being crazy. Niggas love a crazy bitch and I'm not that. You get what I'm saying? Like, what, does she bring peace? Is she not crazy? The instability, the, the, the backward, the back and forth, different kind of personalities. She is very crazy, right? And, right, to think that men love crazy girls. No. The toxic men that you are attracted to might love toxic women. Might love crazy women. Good men don't. They don't. Because it doesn't bring them peace. It doesn't bring them peace for long-term commitment. Now, the men that likes crazy because they only see you as, you know, sexual release then yeah if you're crazy it might be fun in the bed but because this type this type of woman don't understand she can't see nothing uh further from you know further from the point right she doesn't see nothing further right far in the future 
uh, and she's not really accountable. She's not logical. She's just poor judging character. So no duh, that, that's how she thinks. And this is just an example of what type of women are suffering because of their own actions. And they don't realize it. They absolutely don't realize that they are doing this to themselves. They just don't realize that their attitude, how they treat men, how they talk to men, how they uh, perceive men, who, what type of men they're attracted to, right? What type of men that they want to be with is their problem, right? It's causing the problems that they have, but they, they obviously don't see it, nor do they care about it because they continuously repeat the same mistake over and over and over and come online to say that these men ain't shit. No, just the men that you're attracted to ain't. This relationship is not going nowhere. I'm clearly not happy and I've been telling you this for the longest. Like, I'm, it's not a joke. I'm not playing. I play about a lot of stuff, but I'm telling you that I, I no longer want to be with you. It's no talking no more. It's no talking. It was no talking. I, I can't get through to you. What I'm telling you is I'm happy. I found somebody that I'm happy with and I want to be with. Well, it's over. I can't be with you no more. I'm happy. I'm, I'm sorry. I got to hang up. Hang up. Hang up. Why the fuck would you break up with that man for? Because I'm not happy. I clearly just told him that I'm with who I want to be with. But we wasn't supposed to be together, G. We were just fucking around, G. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you, bro? So you don't want to be with me? Hell no. Nah. That's the fuck? weird. You just let me in the whole relationship for you to tell me you don't want to be with me. Man, look. I Look, we we, was, we just fucking around. That's it, bro. No.